When you're working with fonts, you always want to make sure that you pick the most perfect font you can for the job. So in order to help me with that, I like to have the character viewer available to me. So from the preferences panel, I go to the language and text icon so that it brings up the language and text panel. And there are several tabs here, language, text, formats, input sources, and this is the one that uh, I want to use to bring up the character viewer uh, that I can place in the menu bar so that I can access it at any time. So a couple of options that you want to make sure that you have selected are here. And those would be, first of all, keyboard and character viewer. You want to have that box checked. And a couple of others that I have checked. Use the same one in all documents. Show input menu in menu bar. And if you scroll down this long list of keyboard configurations, you will get to the ones that are pertinent to you, US and US Extended. Now, I have them both selected because I occasionally have an extended keyboard attached to my laptop. So once those are selected, in the menu bar on the right-hand side, you'll get a little symbol uh, in your menu that looks just like one of these. So from there, when you select one of those, you will get the um, character viewer panel. And the character viewer panel allows you to view all of the fonts and symbols that you have on uh, your computer, uh, depending on the fonts you have installed. And say, for example, from the view menu bar here, I've selected the uh, Roman option. And that brings up uh, options for me like math, arrows, parentheses, currency, and so forth. I'm going to select this menus. Uh, uh, title here. And off to the right hand side you'll see that it brings up all of the symbols uh, and what you'll notice is these, some of these symbols are very familiar. Uh, the uh, copyright symbol. And notice if I hover my mouse button over it, it's showing the Unicode value and the UTF-8 value. So if I click on any one of these symbols here, I want you to pay close attention to what's happening down in the bottom lower panel. I'm going to select uh, this uh, heart here. I like hearts. So I want to select a heart to use uh, in the work that I'm doing, but this particular heart may not be the exact shape or size that I want. So once I select it while I'm in the character viewer, it will show me the different fonts that are on my system with their variations of this heart symbol. So some look the same, some look quite different, some have just very subtle variations. And if you're working with fonts, you often know that it's that subtle variation that makes or breaks what you're trying to do. So once I have uh, the font selected, and it tells me which font it is just below it, if I select this um, button down at the lower right-hand corner, Insert with Font, it will then insert whatever font I've selected into whatever project I'm working on. So that saves me a lot of time. Visually, it, serves, it saves me searching through uh, fonts uh, and not particularly knowing uh, where to locate this symbol. Everything is right here situated in the character viewer panel, and it just makes life a lot easier.